something that could change the world of MS. Could meet the need of some patients for who we have little to offer. It could be a drug that could blow a $20 billion market. Cladribin had been developed for people with herisol leukemia. It became really exciting when, in 2009-10 when the results of the Clarity study came out. Data at trial were very convincing in terms of efficacy, reduction in relapse rate, reduction in disease progression against the backdrop of a very reasonable safety profile. Now, who will this drug be? benefit. It can benefit everybody. Uh, ideally we, we wanted to try it in people with relapsing MS because they will clearly benefit. But for progressive disease what we, we realise is that, that the problem in MS is nerve damage. And so if you really want to treat nerve damage you've got to target the cells that are sat in the brain. And so the only drug that really has that capacity to do that is, is cladribine. Secondary progressive patients who are have begun to lose significant disability, EDSS 6, 6.5, could potentially benefit from the immunosuppressant effect of cladribin. Scientifically, you can make the argument why it's the best drug for MS. Safe, convenient, effective. For one year of treatment, we know that 50% of people don't have disease five years later. It could be forever, we don't know, but you know, that is a huge potential saving if you're only spending $350 versus $250,000. So, uh, you know, you can see why um, uh, Cladrimine would be a scary drug because it could break the market. signal potentially associated with uh, a, a risk of cancer. Three people with, um, who were on uh, cladribin developed uh, cancer, uh, whilst there were no uh, patients at all in the placebo arm of the study. Merck Serono, I think stupidly, um, stopped development. We then started and uh, looked at what we could do to make this drug uh, available to people with, uh, with MS. And the safety issue was, from the word go, um, for us as suspicious. The unusual result was that there were no cancers at all in the placebo group. We did an analysis and that showed that the risk for uh, cancer with cladribine was no greater than with any other drug. We are designing a trial for people with progressive MS uh, using cladribine as the drug of choice. And perhaps that may be as pushed Merck Serono to resurrect their, their program and so they are going back to the regulators a bit. Which will mean, if they get the license, that it will be uh, for a drug that will be in the, exactly the same high price sector as all the other disease modifying drugs at the moment. So this is one good way of killing us off. So what we really need is somebody who actually has the money to support the study and, and the belief that, you know, we actually want to do good for people with MS, not about, it's not about making money, it's about doing the right thing.